So uh, one thing that I didn't talk about because I didn't know it was there was this 3M stripe. I mean, obviously I knew the stripe was there, but I didn't know it was 3M. So these get extra points. They were already pretty awesome, and now they're even more pretty awesome. Yeah, look at that. Oh, so what is going on, people? You know, it's been a, it's been a good while since I've done this. I mean, I did the live thing somewhat recently, and I've recorded something else that night, so that would have been the 8th, and it is now the 17th, so it's been... It's been a bit, it's been a bit. So it's good to kind of have something else to talk about, something that's not old. But speaking of things that are new though, which is what we're talking about, real quick, got a little comment today because I still get those from time to time on some of the older videos. And this one popped up, I'll put that somewhere over here somehow. And I saw that and I was like, well, that's, it brought a little, little joy to my heart because everybody likes to laugh once in a while and that did that for me. So thank you to whoever you are. I don't remember what your name was, but you at least got your little moment of not quite fame, but you got your moment right here. So tell your friends to tell their friends and you can they can all come over here and see that you were semi immortalized. So there's that. You're welcome. All right. Now this right this here box, right? I bought these through Yeezy Supply and Yeezy Supply hasn't always had the greatest reputation for how they handle their shipping and all that. It, used to be kind of delayed by a lot and especially with all the other crap going on in the world right now and shipping being delayed on some things and places closing down i didn't know when these were coming i didn't even know if they were going to ship actually because i'm always a little hesitant when i get something in like get an order in I, with certain places i just doubt i have had these doubts you know but the next day i got a shipping notification and I was like, all right, cool, things are happening. Of course, it didn't work immediately because things generally don't. They give you the tracking number, but until things actually start moving and systems get updated, you don't have anything to go by. You just know that you have a number. So I checked it again on Monday morning, I think it was, and lo and behold, they're like, you should have these tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, now something seems a little weird, right? But sure enough, tomorrow came, which is now today, and this box. It arrived. I I was very surprised. They ended up shipping out of Philadelphia, I think it was. So I don't know where my last stuff was coming from or like what all is going on with that, but I am just pretty uh, pretty impressed to say the least about their shipping. Gotta be careful with those. I almost cut my finger again. You guys remember that? I think it was what was it? It was the Hirachi Vit review, I think, where I cut my finger and. Ugh. It wasn't okay. It wasn't okay. It was like scarred for a long time, like longer than it should have been given what happened. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so let's go ahead and get on into this box here. If I can get this box out of this other box. Let's see that there. All right, cool. <sighs> Man, maybe I'm just a little rusty at this because it's been a while. I don't know. But we're going to get this closed up and now we're going to talk about the box for just a moment so here you have this a 350 box because as you saw in the thumbnail what's inside is a 350 that particular 350 to be exact see that there's a side for you in case you want to know some of that little information anyway so i'm curious what these look like so let's go get it wow that is not bad that's my first impression they are not bad yeah, that's. And now I pull this other one out and make sure everything is looking like it's supposed to. With this noise here of unnecessary paper. Okay, so looking over these, make sure everything's on the up and up. Real quick, other part of the little backstory, if you will. I was expecting, because, you know, sometimes once, if you get enough things, you start to feel a little entitled, and I will say I'm not immune to that. So I was kind of feeling like, oh yeah, I should be able to get these, no problem, right? I'm sure some store around here will have them, and I'll, it'll all work out. Well, nobody around here really had them. Finish Line did, but Finish Line is, they don't count. So anyways... I went ahead and had to get these through other means. Even Adidas didn't come through for me, but I think they might have kind of checked with like the Easy Supply and maybe if you won through them, they didn't send, they didn't put you through on the raffle. I don't know, but either way, I didn't get these as easily or as quickly as I wanted to, but I'm probably still going to, I don't know, I'm still going to be able to show them to some people that haven't seen them yet because I do have a few followers that are like that. And I'm sure some other people will still trickle in over the next 
weeks, months, whatever, just looking for reviews because sometimes people find mine above all the other ones that may have gotten there first. So sometimes if you're not first, it doesn't matter. Anyways, now that we have done all that, let's get on into the review on this right here, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Desert Sage colorway. I hope I got that right. It's been a little while. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at these things right here. They are not looking too bad. I said that already, but I say it again because I mean it. So review time, right? Across the bottom, that's where we start, right? So this typical outsole that you see on all the Yeezys, nothing too fancy. The coloring is pretty decent. It's like a very light orange. Not obviously nowhere near what's going on up there, but just a little, little hint of it, right? And then moving on to the mid here, this part is it's kind of hard to tell what, what exact color that is. It's kind of like a very light olive color that kind of goes along with what you see on the laces actually and sprinkled throughout here. But if I can get this in here a little closer and hopefully this comes out all right because the lighting in here isn't great right now. And then on the back you have that contrast to show you just what the difference is in color between the bottom and the rest of the side there. Some people don't like this. I'm indifferent to it. Also, while I'm thinking about it, because I will forget, no pull tab thingy on the back, though there is a slight discoloration there to where it would be. Moving on. So, up here, right, this stitching style, it's the same st stitching style that you've seen on a lot of their more recent ones where it kind of fluctuates throughout the shoe. If I can bring this in real quick, see how the stitching pattern is not the same throughout the shoe, right? There you've got a nice visual moving on to the side. This one seems like it's, it might be a little even more different than the usuals, but this, the fact remains that the stitching pattern does not stay the same throughout the shoe. And that's really the main point of showing you this close up. So past that, we'll come back over to this side. You have that semi-transparent strip there. Not as transparent on these, mostly just because of the Probably most because of the coloring, but let's see, go ahead and take that out there. And even on these, yeah, you can kind of see through there a little bit, but it's not as clear as the other ones because it is kind of colored though. But it's still there, it's probably going to offer you just a little bit of, little bit of see through if you wear the right socks, so I'm sure they'll, they'll still show up. And given that the rest of the way this prime knit upper is, if you can kind of see there, you can kind of see into the shoe through some angles if you get a good enough look in there because they are pretty breathable overall. So that's one of the nice touches about wearing these Yeezys when it comes to the comfort. It's like top top to bottom, back to front, whole thing, really nice wear, really nice. And then these laces that they have here, typical rope style laces, right? Nothing fancy about them, but I do like them a lot. And then I think that covers everything because like I said, this upper, it's a light, light-ish olive color kind of thing going on. And I think it plays pretty well with the orange on the rest of the on the rest of the shoe here, which is what we're going to talk about next. As you see that insole there, you got the a very very vibrant orange, kind of like this Macho Man shirt that I got going on here, and it extends past the sock liner just enough to the outside, so you can kind of have a little bit of pop there. Not too much to be crazy, but just enough to give it something so it's not too bland. It's because you got to have you got to find the right balance. Otherwise, everything just looks weird and I mean believe me I've seen some stuff where it's just you look at it and you're like man this thing is just doing way too much this is doing enough in my opinion but that's just me maybe you feel different if you do feel different you can comment that down below if you don't feel different you can also comment that down below I'll respond to almost every comment actually you know even the ones that like ask for questions about or ask for answers to things that I've already answered I often respond to them, not with answers though, not at least not with the ones they want, but I will respond sometimes. Anyway, so that brings me to one of the questions people always ask, because it's that time. I've said enough about the shoe, I think. Sizing on these things. Sizing on these things. Oh, and the on foot stuff, because let's uh let's do that, right? So you can see what they actually look like. Anyways, the sizing on these, I buy nine and a half because that is the size that I wear in my Adidas shoes. And these happen to be Adidas shoes, right? Works out just fine every time, minus the three MCs because skate shoes do tend to run a little big sometimes, so I go down half on those. But the average Adidas shoe has been 
perfectly fine at a nine and a half, right? And I'm gonna suggest going with whatever your normal Adidas shoe size is on these because that is what I do. And now some people do say that they're a little snug and all that stuff. And yes, they are. They do stretch out over time if you wear them enough. Some people argue that they don't. Look, here's the thing, right? You, If you've been around long enough, you've probably realized that different people have different experiences with the same thing. I'm telling you my experience, right? So if your buddy wants to tell you his and his is different, hey, man, you know, who do you want to trust? I don't know. I don't care. I'm just going to tell you what's on my mind and hope that you take that and do something constructive with it. So there's that for you. Anyways, moving right along, the comfort of these, as I kind of alluded to a moment ago, right? Very nice, very nice. The boost here is a lot more boosty, if you will, than your standard Ultra Boost and all that stuff. Super cushiony, you know, it's like stepping on a plush rug or something with every step. Or maybe a cloud is trapped to your foot, I don't know. But it's really comfortable. And then with the way the upper is, it's, you know, got that whole prime knit thing. So it fits like a sock. So it's, it flexes everywhere you need it to. They're lightweight, you know. The only thing is just they look a little weird. I mean, even this is probably like my dang near 20th pair. And I'm going to say, yeah, they still look a little weird to me. But, I mean, well, what do you think? Do you think that too? But I, I just kind of let it slide because they're really comfortable. So there's that. I wouldn't pay resale for them. That is one thing that I will say, like, because I, you know, I wouldn't pay resale for anything, but it's just not that serious to me anyways, unless you got the money for it, do whatever you do. But yeah, so that pretty much sums up everything I believe. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing on up. Thanks for watching. Have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I got to get these on foot things shot so I can get this thing out to the masses, which is you guys. So you're welcome for that. All right. Later, people.